When they made Top Gun Maverick, uh, it was kind of made clear this is a, the fond farewell. This is Maverick flying off into the sunset as that one propeller spitfire with him and Jennifer Connelly in the back and Lady Gaga singing, I'm flying in my plane, as they literally <laughs> what fly was that? into the sunset. I love that song. I'm flying <laughs> in my song. plane. It should be nominated for an Oscar. As they literally fly off into the sunset. That was it. It was done. Now, the movie made over a billion dollars. And people started saying, are they going to make another one? And, and, you know, the people on the inside of the studio say, like, this was a, this was the fair, fond farewell. This was the goodbye to Maverick. I mean, Maverick is in his 60s <laughs> at this point. It is, the movie itself talks about how this is the closing of the age of the fighter pilot. You know, all that kind of stuff <clears throat> didn't really seem to make any sense to go back and do another one. Well, as we mentioned, made over a billion dollars. And it got nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. And a lot of that can be motivating. And now, according to Industry Insiders, Paramount's moving ahead with it. <clears throat> this comes to us from the Puck newsletter. Of course, one of the probably the most major studio insider trade right now. And they wrote the following. Top Gun 3 is happening. It hasn't been reported yet, but Top Gun Maverick co-writer... Aaron Kruger is now officially at work on a follow-up to the 2022 mega hit that will reunite Tom Cruise with co-stars Miles Teller and Glenn Powell, as well as producers Jerry Bruckheimer and David Elson and Joe Kaczynski will either direct, because he, of course, he directed Maverick, will either direct or produce. If that script comes together as expected, it could be Cruise's next movie after Mission Impossible 8. So couple of big things here. Number one, that they're going to go back and do another one. Number two, that they could move pretty quickly on this thing. As I said, Maverick is past the Air Force's mandatory retirement age at this point, so they got to move on it quick if they're going to do it. It could be the very next thing they do after Mission Impossible 8, which really makes that announcement the other day that Tom Cruise is moving his whole operation over to Warner Brothers. Of course, Top Gun still belongs to Paramount, so if he's going to do another one, it's got to be with Paramount. So not only does he have MI8, and he's got a new Top Gun, he's also got that movie set up over at Universal in the space station. So it's going to be a while before we see the first Tom Cruise Warner Brothers collaboration happen. But still, let's get back to Top Gun here. I get it. Best Picture nomination, billion dollar film. It was the same formula that led the never going to be a sequel to this Joker to now we're getting a Joker. Best Picture nomination, billion dollar film. I do wonder what the hell can you make this about? It can't be the return of the unnamed bad guys. Because remember, one of the funny things about Top Gun Maverick is they never even name who the bad guys are. The enemy. The enemy. It's just uh, the target. The enemy. Uh, the bogeys. The, the great nation of bogey. That's, they never actually <laughs> name the bad guys. So who are the bad guys? What are they fighting against? Are they now drone pilots? Do they sit down and are, are they playing video games? Are, is it a bank heist movie? They decide that the only way you can do this is to fly an F-14 over it and drop a tow cable and snatch up the safe. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, hey, it's Paramount. You know what else belongs to Paramount? Transformers. Ooh, what if Maverick is piloting Starscream? Top Gun Transformers. Oh, there it is. That. Now it's a Gundam movie of all things. I mean, I, I just don't know where you go. Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, two superstars in their own right. I, I just don't know where they go, but I, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Masterclass. Everyone, it's a new year. So picture that thing that you've always wanted to learn. Now, picture learning it from a person who's literally one of the best in the world at it. And that's what you get with Masterclass. This year, learn from the best to become your best with Masterclass. Don't just talk about improving. Masterclass helps you actually do it. Because Masterclass offers over 180 world-class instructors. So whether you want to master negotiation with Chris Voss, like I did, think like a boss with Martha Stewart, or learn the art of storytelling from the man himself, Neil Gaiman. Masterclass has you covered. Because with Masterclass, you get unlimited access to intimate one-on-one -on -one classes with the world's world's 
best. At Masterclass, there are over 200 classes to pick from, with new classes being added every month. And if you're a viewer of The John Campion Show, you probably love movie making, storytelling, television. So you'd be totally interested in things like screenwriting from Aaron Sorkin, learn developing original TV series from Stranger Things as the Duffer Brothers, or maybe you like the music side of movies, well, you can learn film scoring from Hans Zimmer. And right now, our listeners will get an additional 15% off an annual membership at masterclass.com slash campia. Get 15% off right now at masterclass.com slash campia. Masterclass.com slash campia. Rob, you hear about this? What comes to your mind when you think about this? I can't wait to watch it. I don't care what it's about. <laughs> no, I, I mean, look, I, the Glenn Powell, that was a star-making role. He's truly yeah. a star. Miles Teller's great. Bring back Tom Cruise. This is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, return I could, of Goose. Yeah, I mean, I could see this movie like <laughs> you've got these three guys. Um, maybe, maybe they're at ideological odds. War breaks out. I mean, look, clearly our world is getting... Yesterday, we took a joint action with the UK and bombed Houthi rebel positions in Yemen, you know, and, and, and they were just out there firing at civilian ships in the Red Sea. I mean, there's plenty of real world politicking going on to add, well, we need fighter pilots. You know, we need, I don't know, something. But what, what could be interesting is if you drive an ideological wedge between these three characters, or maybe maybe Glenn Powell and Miles Teller's characters have something they need to be brought together and only Pete Maverick has to come back and take care of business, you know, come out of retirement <laughs> for one last ride. I, you know, at some point, does he say I'm getting too old for this shit? I, I'm she must. And as long as they bring back Jennifer Connelly, I'm OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I I just what do you make this movie about? I mean, they literally set it up in the last movie that these are the final days of the fighter pilot because you had uh, the drone ranger general. You know, saying this is it, and you know, all all finished off now, and I, I, I don't know. Aliens, aliens. That's right. That's what I call a this close is crossover with Independence Day. The yes. Independence Day. Yep. Independence Day, Transformers, and a little bit of Zombie Goose. And bring back Will Smith. Oh my God. Top Gun, Will Smith. We slaps the aliens down. That's right. Ah, <laughs> come on. Wouldn't you watch that? Of course I would yeah, watch it. Yeah, I know, right? Of course I would watch it. I mean, 100%. I, I don't necessarily think it would be good, but of course I would watch it. It'd be awesome. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, boy, they're going to sell Paramount. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. That's really, at well, the end gonna, of all this discussion. If this was the best ideas for Top Gun 3, then yeah, there's, no, he gets there's off the, nothing. They get off the phone with, with Tom. They're like... Okay, Warner I just Brothers. I think it's great that after like this buy? 15 minute discussion, Ray's the one who comes in with the final analysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah the they're thing. selling. I thought, made the most sense. I thought maybe we could look at we could look at reality and uh, Top Gun becomes a yeah. like a real flight instructor. He made the I most was sense. In the chat and like license license to drive, license to fly, and he's in the license to fly. And that's the there. name. That's the subtitle. Top Gun Three. And then he puts the cup of coffee onto the thing and they have to do the, they have to do the whole thing without the cup of coffee spoon. you know you know, what None I'm you guys know that movie God. so what is Corey feldman in this movie then? <laughs> yeah he could still be he could do the theme song remember oh, yeah. the um remember the saturday night live sketch with val kilmer called Iceman: the latter years where Iceman was now a commercial airline pilot <laughs> and he's probably thinking, what if that's it what if tom cruise what if tom cruise maverick is now a pilot for pan am or something oh and then terrorists try to take over his plane. And he's like, no way, man. And he's doing barrels. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm, I'm what, trying to make something up. What I got out of Maverick is I, I believe they should bring back Glenn Powell. He was, he was one of the characters that. <laughs> 100%. I, I, um, the rest of the characters, I don't even remember. So <laughs> There's Powell, Val Kilmer from. <laughs> uh, maybe Miles Teller. Of course, Miles Teller has to come back. He's yeah. A, 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 so we got to look on to the, the, the other characters now. Because Tom Cruise isn't going to do Top Gun forever. If they're going to keep going with. This top well, we franchise. said that about Mission Impossible after yeah. Mission Impossible 4. They Well, they could bring back Jason Gedrick, Louis Gossett Jr., and Rachel McClish and combine the oh, Iron, Iron Eagle, Eagle crossover yes. with Top Gun. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. It's gold. We're, we're printing gold here, ladies and gentlemen. Plus Johnny, 21 Jump Street. Yeah. 
right. Yeah. And All MIB. right. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.